Right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kieran, and welcome to another survival horror video, but this time it's going to be a wee bit different. Just a wee bit different. Instead of talking about a new survival horror game coming out, I just want to take a trip back to some older titles in the genre that have kind of not really been much light shed on them, really. Welcome to the first episode of my brand new series on the channel, which is Survive the Forgotten, a series where I'll be hunting for older forgotten survival horror games, or just horror games in general, uh, and play them all for you, and tell you a wee bit about them. Oh yeah, before we get into the first game, I just wanted to say that I'll be streaming all of my Survive the Forgotten games over on my Twitch, so if you haven't followed me over there already, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, I've got the link down in the bottom there. Another thing before we get into this, uh, I just want to say, yeah, I'm very sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I've been kind of busy, just a little bit busy, just a wee bit busy. I've been doing uh, work experience, been working part-time and all that, so I've not really had much time to do a video. By the time I get home, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, let's just, uh, yeah. But don't worry, when I uh, when I find time to stream, I definitely, I definitely do that, because streaming's a lot easier than making a video. So, if you want to see more content by me, I highly recommend that you just click on the Switch link below. So anyway, let's get into the video. Welcome to Rule of Rose, a survival horror game that came out back in 2006 on the PS2. It was developed by Punchline, a developer who might be shut down because there has been like no word from them since like 2006 since their game was released. Literally, there's been no word at all. Like, I went on their Wikipedia page, because Wikipedia is like the most accurate thing ever, and I uh, couldn't find anything. I even searched the web as well and I couldn't really find anything, so I don't even know if this company still exists. Punchline were actually asked by Sony to make a horror game for the PS2, which Punchline accepted and began developing on Rose, but the title struggled finding a publisher by the time the game was ready for release, for multiple reasons. One of these reasons may have been the rumours, of its alleged content, which involves quite bad stuff, just gonna say there, I'm not gonna really gonna name it in the, in the video, because you know apparently YouTube doesn't like shit like that, but uh, yeah, it's uh, let's just say it was very dark content, <laughs> uh, I'll just say that, it's very kind of fucked up. This caused an uproar in Europe prior to the game's release, the game was banned in the United Kingdom, uh, although the reactions to the story, music and horror elements were mostly positive. The controversy and misinformation was enough for officials to have, actually have it banned. Which is crazy, like, absolutely crazy. So, I, right, I live in Scotland, right, and I don't really know what it means for a game to be banned. Does that mean I'm not allowed to play it, or it's not allowed to be sold? I think it's more along the lines of it's no allowed to be sold. Sorry, that thought just kind of popped in my head there. It's like, oh wait, this game's banned in my country. <laughs> so, am I allowed to play this? I have no idea. The game is set in 1930s England, where I... I to, actually, do you know what? I just realised, yeah, since this game is set in England, I kind of find it ironic that it's banned in the UK as well. <laughs> the game is set in 1930s England, where a 19-year-old girl called Jennifer becomes trapped in a world ruled by young girls who have established a class of hierarchy called the Red Freon Aristocrats. After her parents were killed in an airship accident, Jennifer encounters a mysterious boy who hands her a blank storybook, then proceeds to run away with Jennifer shortly chasing after him. Jennifer is led to the Rose Garden Orphanage where the Red Crayon Aristocrats rule with no adults interfering in the orphanage. Throughout the game, Jennifer recovers the memories of her childhood and remembers the people she knew at the orphanage, as well as battling weird little tiny monster things called imps. By the way, this is what uh, one of the controversies were. <laughs> like, these, I, I was looking at pictures of these monsters, I was looking at pictures of these imps, and they do look like children. Which is kind of fucked up. Just a little bit fucked up. So I can understand why um, non-gamers and all that, like politicians and stuff, kind of looked at this game and were like, hmm, this is a bit fucked. <laughs> With the help of a dog called Brown, Jennifer must find valuable items for the Red Crayon people in order to survive. This game kind of reminds me of Haunting Grounds and Silent Hill, which is a good mix to be honest. It does have the looks and feels of Haunting Grounds, but the style is more along the lines of Silent Hill, which I just quite like. Just that whole mysterious weirdness, fucked upness of Silent Hill mixed in with Haunting Grounds, that's basically this game. Right now, if you're looking to play this game, the only decent way to do so is to play it through an emulator. Otherwise, you would have to pay a good wee bit, just a little tiny wee bit, you know, more like a 
like a hundred pounds, like two hundred quid. I've seen it go up to like five hundred quid at one point. Because you know real resellers on the you know resellers on the internet, fucking cunts. Just saying that. Yep, they're the worst people. Worst people. So we've talked a wee bit about the game. I think it's time for me to show you what the game's all about. So let's hop into it. Let's go. And uh, yeah. What does the imagery mean? There's roses. That UFO. Ah. Do you know what this gives me the feeling of? It gives me the feeling of this weird game. It's quite popular actually, you might not. It's probably mothered. It's um absolute masterpiece. Oh wait. Uh so I was not looking... Yeah, thank you for telling me, everyone. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Once upon a time, there was a wee Scotsman. A wee Scotsman that simply just wanted this stream. What happened? Well, he played crying is not enough. Read the story. Please read the story. What's next? Hey, that's not even a book. Well, you're reading it upside down, actually. And the pages are blank. Right? What's this? What's this? Oh, do you know what that reminded me of? Actually, it reminded me of the bus from Harry Potter. See the third one with like the, the triple decker? Yeah, take it away, Ernie! It's going to be a bumpy ride! <laughs> <laughs> and the adventure continues. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Wait, that doesn't even... I love how the subtitles are for page one. But the subtitles for page one are for page two. Her friend, the Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day her mummy and daddy died suddenly. Princess too disappeared, leaving the girl all alone. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. That's not a dog bark, man. It sounded strangely familiar to her. To her. I mean, tell me to go after the dog. I'm gonna go this way. It is, I'm just getting, you know, Remothered. Oh, hello. We're just getting remothered vibes from this. And I don't know why you're just no jumping over the wall. It's not even like it's that big, to be honest. Actually, Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog kidnaps kids. Kids with a Z. <laughs> God, man. So hip. So cool. I bet they did the wee, uh, the wee S thing you did in like, primary school. Where it's like you draw three lines and then three lines underneath it and then you connect it to make like, that hipster S. Or that, um... Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Ah, so the bag is alive. It reminds me of the bag from PT. Maybe it talks like that. It's fine, man. She's fine. She doesn't need an inhaler or anything. It's all good. By the way, how do you feel like uh, having Carl in here? Should, should, we phone, should we phone up Carl, have like a two-player commentary? No offence, but Carl is, you know... He's an interesting person when it comes to horror games, let's just say that. Women's lavatory. I love how the, the the first thing we do is find the toilet. Oh my god. I mean that's like more consistent than that toilet to be fair. I like that's kind of a oh. Why is there a bunch of sacks in there? What does it mean? What is the sack what's the imagery of the sacks? I don't even know if you can hit, kill people or anything like that in this is either. I don't know anything about this. Right, where to? What am I doing? It's got that Silent Hill kind of camera. Where it's like uh it, is, it looks like fixed, but it's not really. Alright, where does this lead me? Are we back in the... Ah, we're back in the main hall. Okay. Let's just investigate though. Small children's umbrellas are lined up in the umbrella stand. Well, I kind of... Not really out of the ordinary because, you know, it's an umbrella stand. <laughs> Can we not get into the bust open one? Nah. That's a shame. Real shame. If there's... Someone in this place must have, like, a switchblade or something. Come on. 
hallway we've just been into. Okay, let's just leave this place. That's the save hallway, I need to keep that in mind. It's weird sitting down and playing a game. I've not actually played much in the past week. I've got Crash Bandicoot for the Switch though, um, which I intend to play at some point. Expensive dishes are arranged in the cupboard. And Davy does it. I like it. Something is written in the notepad. March 2nd, 1930. Recently the children have been engaging in odd activities and spreading disturbing rumours and... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> and spreading uh, disturbing rumours... Rumours? About creatures that uh, come, come after the children. Who don't clean up and stray dogs that kidnap small tots. It's all very bizarre. Hmm. I was in the bathroom for five minutes! <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched it on stream. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind you fucking called me. <laughs> Mate, you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, I'll, okay, I'll just, I'll just call up Carl. It's fine. And then I completely forgot I called you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. Uh, yeah. By the way, everyone, this is Carl. Say hello, hello. Carl. Uh, oh, right, okay, let's get back into. It. <laughs> I, you have no idea how like. It's just because I was reading this book, I was getting really into it, and then all I hear is this loud noise, I'm like, what? <laughs> Alright, okay. How are you doing, Carl? You doing good? I'm not too bad on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fine, man. I'm doing fine. I'm awake oh, I'm now. I'm just sending, I'm just sending someone that link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sending someone that link? Ah, yes, the entire group yeah. chat. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All I could hear was like the slam, and I was like, he either fell out of the fucking chair or he threw the headphones on himself. I was just, it's because this game has been so quiet. <laughs> and there's like nothing going on. Oh man. Oh god. But anyway, Carl, welcome to the stream. We're playing Rule, is, uh, Thank you. Rule of Rose. <laughs> right. Let's get any caught up. It's a survival horror game. Yeah. And uh, that's all I it's know. It's made by Alice. The dude's the mid is, persona. Is that what you've said? Yeah, that's what I said, that I, I said in the oh, chat. Fuck. Yeah, it's made by Atlas. I've seen it at the beginning. Hmm. Um, rule of rule. Just try and find out as much information as you can, Carl. That's that's your job yeah. for the night. Oh god, fifty-two percent or fifty-nine percent of Metacritic. <laughs> is that bad? Fifty-nine percent. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? By the way, I've just been walking around this- Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, something. Right, the wee kids are laughing again. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's like, I was supposed to follow this wee kid up the stairs, but like, <clears throat> I just uh, ended up just exploring this mansion in, yeah. Oh, a first locked door. Nice. I think I need to like, go all the way back to like, the main... Just hallway after hallway, I'm like, completely lost. I'm trying to figure out like, the camera style. Is it- it, is it like kind of like an awkward third person? Yeah, that's that. I was making comparisons to um, like Silent Hill kind of because it has the same yeah. kind of camera style. Whereas like you're walking down a hallway and you start walking the other way, you have to like hold in the left trigger to like re like, yeah. realign the camera. Like, it's a strange looking camera. It is really weird, doesn't it? Because like times the... it kind of it kind of looks like Resi at times, and then other times it like like right now it looks a bit like Resident Evil. Just... Yeah, I thought it was fixed camera angle for a little for a little while, and then it turns out yeah. it isn't. Really I don't know where the f looking. where's everyone going. It's a very floaty camera. It is, isn't it? I'm supposed to be following this kid, but like, I just keep going like <laughs> to <laughs> random places. <laughs> I hope this is the door he went through. I don't know. I think this game is literally just about chasing t children. Like that is Yeah, have you not found theme. that little fucker yet? Yeah. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's actually popping up in my stream. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just checked back on the screen there for a second. <laughs> Goldar, you're asking questions to the wrong person. I know I'm playing it, but Carl is the main researcher here. That's why Carl is here. Oh, he's right. researching. 
that, that's uh, Jennifer. This Jennifer. Like teachers. Right. Um. <laughs> one second. Uh. <laughs> what's the name of the fucking game? <laughs> <laughs> rule of it's a, rules. Rule of rules. Right. Rule of rules. Jennifer. Who's Wendy? Right, Jennifer is the main protagonist of Rule of Rose. Rule of Rose is focused on Jennifer's stay at Rose Garden Orphanage and her post-traumatic stress disorder. The poor girl. Um, and is focused on Jennifer remembering, possessing, comprehending, understanding, and accepting the suffering she experienced as a child. Jesus Christ. Um, I still don't know what she does. All those attending, please gather. Around. This game does not have voice acting. Oh really? Yeah. At all? No. It's just been presented oh. by like text. All I heard was do do do, like a uh, the morning announcement. Good morning, South Park Elementary. These are the morning announcements. Parent-teacher conferences begin next Thursday. If you have not yet done so, please turn in your parents' requested timesheets by the end of the fifth period today. Uh huh. But it was a morning announcement for a funeral. Does it not even have like slight voice acting? Like, it has occasional? kids whispering and laughing. That's about it. Huh. Come on, Jennifer. The funeral is about to begin. Who, who are you? I sounded way too excited for funeral. No. Oh. Come on, Jennifer. <laughs> it's a funeral for your dear friend, dude. Come on, Jennifer. Go we'll bury the poor bastard. What's wrong, dude? Do you think there's a? Web link with just the entire book version of this game. Oh, that's I what I was don't. saying. This game would make a great audio drama. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I can't go through certain doors because a kid would push me and start laughing. Oh, ugly little. <laughs> what an ugly little fuck. I got like the free when trial. The girl, of <laughs> when the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel. Ooh. What did she do with the shovel? Do you want to make it into a D&D &D adventure, but like horror related? I don't mind, yeah. Go on. The unlucky <laughs> girl sensed that something was very dear to her was buried here. As right. if possessed, she began to dig furiously. Right. Now you have to roll a perception card here, or dice here. If you get a 10 or above, you can dig successfully. What? <laughs> I don't know, is that how DNC works? I don't fucking know what you're on about! <laughs> what the fuck is a perception card? You just made D&D &D sound like the most boring fucking game ever! <laughs> a perception card! But they can't afford it. Oh, two people are approaching her. Oh, oh Jesus, she's looking in the cup. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no no no, that's there's, not there's no, there's, there's no rucksack. Just oh! Look at you. Oh, there is voice acting! Oh, good, good. Dirty <laughs> bass. <laughs> why are these... Wait, why are these... People in, in bags giving this girl a, a flower. What are they doing? Ah! I don't know what's going on. I, I looked back at the screen, they're pouring water on the poor girl in front of a grave. Is this, is this where the game begins? I don't know. What is their move on it? What was the purpose of the water? It's a metaphor. For what? Water! To claim. The game is in a black screen and apparently it's not responding. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> Why? Why? Why'd you do this to me? It's crying is not enough. It wants you to play it again. It's just aching. It's, it's calling it's, you! I was mocking crying is not enough. The fuck did you say oh, about me? What did the fuck did you say about my game? Good game, so good it crashed. Yeah. It was getting interesting, man. Don't worry though, because I saved. Now Carl, can you look up something for me? Oh by the way, the game's crashed. Um two seconds actually look ah, back up again. That's safe. Right. Um 
Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. Oh, the game. Um, but no, that's that is a picture. Um right. TV tropes. Oh, apparently there are erotic elements in the game, Kieran. Oh dear god. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. What is it? Oh no. I don't know if you can stream this game on Twitch. <laughs> 